Hello, I'm Claudio Pensieri. I teach methods and didactics of motor and sport activities. This course is attended at the first year of the LUNSAS Pre-Primary and Primary Teachers Qualification Degree course in Palermo, Italy. In our teaching experience with medium classroom, uh, 90 students, we notice the need, underlined also by the students, to practice with gymnastic exercise and to find a more friendly way to remember theoretical data. So it occurred in my mind to experiment the active learning methodology elevator pitch in order to offer them a more engaging activity able to facilitate deeper understanding and, by consequence, memorizing of what we have done in previous lessons and to empower their critical thinking ability. Moreover, through this method, I also like to potentiate teamwork and personal skills because I think they are very important for future teachers. We made this experiment at the end of the first module of the course that was about 1. Theoretical information of motor activity, sport activity, student safety during sport activities, and life skills. They had to select the most important topic presented during lessons and they have to present them in the little bit of time of the elevator pitch. This is an important way that leads them to reflect critically because they had to review everything they remember and then decide what is important to say, trashing irrelevant secondary information. The activity has been developed in two different phases. In the first one, students are asked to develop an elevator pitch individually, summarizing what has been explained in the last lesson. In the second, the elevator pitch was made by a small group of students synthesize the first module of the course, six lessons. Each group designed a short presentation with summaries of the most important information from the previous module that they study. Each group of students chose a temporary leader. This leader presented their results in a form of elevator pitch, not longer than five minutes. The individual elevator pitch has been recorded and videos were uploaded in the Google Classroom page of the course. Then we commented together on some randomly chosen videos. The second elevator pitch was uploaded in the Google Classroom page of the course, but only the teacher saw them. We followed this step. 1. Introduction. We presented the topic. 2. Summary. A brief summary of main content. 3. Most important, interesting information. Uh, what was the most important from the point of view of the student? and four closing. One sentence to sum up. ILO's definition on soft skills was quite a problematic situation. We did this exercise in order to force students to think deeply about their material they learned. I add a specific ILO on soft skills. Students will be able to select, evaluate and summarize the most important information about motor activity and sports. We did not uh, assess soft skills per se, but we evaluated the performance of the students. We assessed them in the form of peer review. After the presentation of the elevator pitches by the groups, a plenary discussion took place. Each group commented on the presentation done. I didn't ask to vote the best one. We only speak up in the classroom about the more interesting elevator pitch. We find that, in the first phase, too much time has been dedicated to activity explanation. Why? During the second exercise we had not this problem. Students know what to do. The only change we made was that the elevator pitch was not individual, but a teamwork exercise. Then they made two online quizzes and a PowerPoint presentation uploading the LUNSAS learning platform. Very interesting was the feedback given from students to other elevator pitch exercises. 
The active learning has been appreciated by the most part of the students. Some of them referred some difficulties in video recording due to their shyness, but they finalized anyway the activity. This is a fear that they have to overcome in order to learn public speaking or to speak in a congress or to discuss their bachelor thesis. Watching each other's presentation, they learn different ways of presenting the same information and different approaches to summarize what they think were the most important information.